Hi, I'm Roger Bailey. Thank you so much for looking in and you join me still in lockdown and I've been going through some videos that I made last year but never actually got around to posting them onto YouTube and I thought well now's a good time to show them to you guys and this particular one I wanted to show you was my Porsche 911 GTS and it needed a wash. Oh and part way through this video see if you can find a celebrity making an appearance. And as a little bit of a bonus, at the end of the video, I've decided I'd like to share with you my five favourite YouTube channels and why I think they're so good. Before our celebrity sees our car, it's only polite we clean the deposit life or rather my wife's feathered friends has thrown at our car. The term safe wash was invented by car detailers who made it an offence to use one bucket and a sponge and they will seize any nice car found loitering near a public car wash. See, washing a car is a process where the human hand shall not touch the car lest it shall inflict swirls onto the surprisingly not so hard paint finish. And while our guard's red Porsche 911 looks shiny and bright, on close examination even this car has swirls, polishing marks and pig's tails, all caused by unsound cleaning methods. What are pig's tails? There'll be more on that later. So first step is to get the wheels done. Citrus cleaning agent is applied, left to impregnate the dirt for a couple of minutes before agitating with a soft brush to this lodged a brake dust and general grime. Traffic film remover can then be sprayed onto the car body if it's needed, but spraying on foam with a pressure washer is a gentler and more perfect approach. And it's also perfect for entertaining any onlookers. 10 minutes of foam dripping will loosen the abrasive particulates and soften the acidic bird sh**. Oh, and take care not to let the foam dry on the paint as it can leave marks. So our mystery guest is imminent, so it's off with the foam and out with the two grit gone buckets. One with clean water and one with foamy pH neutral car shampoo. And our Porsche GTS can now get softly touched while enjoying a gentle bath of suds and more suds. And yeah, a few more suds. Spray off the bubble bath before it dries and insert a deionizing filter to our hose pipe and carry out the final wash down using pure non-staining H2O before gently toweling off like this and it's like this see no rubbing so our celebrity our famous car detailer should be here by now so I think this is him now oh actually no it's just a neighbor You may already know him, it's a guy with over a gazillion YouTube subscribers. A man whose very word on car valeting becomes industry standard. And it is none other than... Well, not here yet. No. No answer. Where is he? And so here he is, all the way from the internet. None other than the one, the only, car cleaning guru. Roger. So while we leave actual car cleaning guru to examine our 911, let me tell you a bit about paint. Yeah, car paint. Modern paint is water-based and not durable compared with older cellulose paint, which happened to contain lead, chromium and other heavy metals. The old cellulose paint was phased out as it was thought to be harmful to the environment. Today we have water-based paint, which is less durable and more liable to incur swirls caused by old-fashioned washing methods, like using one bucket and old sponges, drying leathers and poor polishing methods. I hear Japanese cars have the softest and easiest to damage paint, while Porsche paint is a bit harder. Despite cars having a relatively thick clear coat of lacquer which can be polished into, many owners opt to have paint protection film applied. While this will certainly give added protection, it's expensive 
will end up getting marked. Some can go dull and with time can potentially tear off bits of paint when it's removed. Me, I have mixed feelings about PPF. And so, of course, Guru's experienced eye has quickly spotted those swirl marks, tiny scratches, and these pigtails. These pigtails are marks left by a previous, less than expert machine polishing person. So, can Guru fix this? Well, first he wipes down with isopropanol, removing all the wax, followed by his own method of machine polishing using a small amount of Menzerna 3 in 1 cutting polish applying no pressure on the machine, just careful overlapping passes, letting the polish do its magic. Now while most of the light swirls are gone, some of these light scratches are hanging on in there, meaning it's time to step it up. We're gonna step it up to Mazerna's heavy cut compound. It's the same process of overlapping passes again, however the paint may be slightly dulled by this compound. To remedy this, a final pass again with a three-in-one cutting polish brings back the high gloss. And the result of me watching several hours of machine polishing? Well, the swirls and the light scratches are completely gone and the shine is deep. But, and there is a but, those pigtails, they stubbornly remain. This calls for a journey. A journey across town to Guru's top secret workshop which he never mentions on this channel, the address of which is in the description below. Here the Guru has a more controlled environment and a bigger rotary polishing machine and just a few minutes using two stages of compound polish, those stubborn pigtails are no more, leaving our bonnet with a clear deep gloss, a perfect glass-like finish. So with that it's back to the studio, or rather my driveway. Here, Guru will polish out the remaining few light imperfections here and there. His attention to detail is, well, very detailed. The level of expertise on show here leaves us confident he will achieve an amazing finish while not inflicting damage to the car's paint finish. I asked if I could assist in the final stages of the job and in so doing, share some of the glory. And of course, I can tell my wife I did it all myself. So it's a final hand polish, any modern car polish will do, a quick plastics detail and a glass polish and I think you'll agree, our Porsche looks dazzling. The paint finish is like liquid glass and should stay looking like this for years to come if it's properly looked after. New owner John, if you're watching. So there we are, like I said, there's more than one way to clean your car. Number one, you can do it yourself, or number two, go and get yourself a car cleaning guru. And if you haven't got a car cleaning guru near to you, well, the safe wash techniques and the polishing that we've seen here today, you could do that just as well. And uh, maybe think about heading over to Car Cleaning Guru's own channel. I mean, he's only got 250,000 subscribers, so you could possibly do with a couple more. And uh, if you've liked what you've seen today, think about giving us the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and comments are always welcome. I read every single comment and I'll reply to as many as I can. Thanks for looking in. And just before I go, please let me tell you who my five most favorite YouTube channels are, why I think they're good, and if you haven't already, why well, I recommend you go and take a look at them, and in no particular order. Yanko Lind. See, Yanko is a true Porsche enthusiast who produces stunning imagery, has a fascinating and a unique take on the art of driving, and a massive plus for me is that he will interact with his viewers. I feel it's so important to take the time to converse with viewers, and Yanko, he'll do just that. Then it's over to JM on cars. Let's go! JM, that's my friend James Martin. And if you head over there, you'll find a unique insight into all car matters, car reviews and car industry commentaries. Sometimes controversial, often humorous and always honest. And of course, James interacts with his viewers. Next up, it's the Car Guys TV. That's Damien and Jason. What can I say other than just 
go and take a look if you haven't already. Stunning cars, engaging presenting style, plenty of banter and great knowledge. Oh, and the guys interact with their viewers. Notice the theme going on here? Interacting, chatting in the comments section lets viewers know they are appreciated and this channel knows this. Most channels, it has to be said, they don't. And I'll never miss a video from Nick Murray. I love Nick Murray, irreverent, funny, gracious and deeply knowledgeable when it comes to Porsche. Nick's presenting style and insightful opinions can cause debate, yet Nick will hold his viewers' attention right to the end. And yes, again, he values and interacts with his viewers. And of course, I never miss any of Joe's videos. That's car cleaning guru to you and me. Here you will find not just expert car cleaning and detailing, but also entertainment and soothing escapism. Don't miss this one, guys. His link, along with all the others, is in the description below. So you see, like many other YouTubers, I regularly watch other YouTube channels. And there's far too many for me to mention here, but I can't go away without mentioning my best friend, Petrol Ped. You may already know him, but let me say Peter Greaves has a channel which has almost become a community hub, an everyday escape for me and a source of great information on cars and numerous other topics. Peter is so polished a presenter, he has been courted by TV companies and he has a bright future ahead. And oh yes, of course, he was going to expect plenty of interaction. So that's five of my favourite channels. Uh, let me know what yours are so I can go and take a look. And of course, I'll let you know what I think. I hope you've liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And comments are always welcomed. I read every single one and I'll reply to most. And if you haven't already, please think about subscribing. And if you hit this little notification bell, I'll send you another video.